shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Um, that that is totally a thing that works in real life by the way that's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath a vehicle Oop. okay well oh I found my own echo that's amazing So that was the Delamain quest. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I should have gone back and looted. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. Guard uniform should do nicely, but you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Or we could just do this one. Cecil has become a paladin. just raised my corpse? Rude! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Triple kill! Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Spotted. Gotta move. Oh, you jerk. You wanna play with plasma? I'll show you how to play with plasma. That's how you play with plasma. Close call. 
combat! Oh. I... Wow. I, I was not expecting that. Oop. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. Examine hole. Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> Was super fun. Uh. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. Oh, buddy is over there. No. No, sir. No. No. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Out of the way, mission. There we go. <laughs> what was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? <laughs> I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this... Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today, we are going to be playing Baldur's Gate 3 for real, for full, for good. So, <clears throat> we've been doing a lot of Zelda lately. We're going to switch gears, and we're going to focus on Baldur's Gate for a while. I figure that's probably going to last um, at least a week or two. And I kind of want to not make the same mistake I made with Zelda with just focusing on it so exclusively. It's kind of hurt the channel a little bit. So uh, we're going to go back to doing a little bit more variety, which means we might see some more Zelda in there somewhere uh, occasionally this month, uh, as well as some other games. We do want to try that uh, Chinatown Detective Agency game, for example, on the Switch. So I would like to see that. But uh, we're going to still be very, very heavily focused on Baldur's Gate because I'm really excited to actually reach the city and get into some higher the levels and get all that good content in that we've never seen over the last three years while this game has been in early access. So, let's get into it then. Oh, um, not switch. Let's do this instead. There we go. Okay, now... This being the first time that I've streamed Baldur's Gate 3 Full Edition. I don't have it launched yet, so let me get this going. It might take a minute. <clears throat> oh, it's actually faster on the redo. Okay, so let's get this going. Ah, okay, it's working. Oh. oh, I see what Greeny was talking about. This is beautiful. I love the loading screens. Full disclosure, I have actually loaded it. I loaded it up once before last night. I played around with character creation. I saw some of these loading screens. What the heck? Renamar, 74 freaking months?
That wow. Is it not doing the Okay. I guess it's not doing the message. Renamar, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the resub. What's going on? It's so good Gordon to see Quave, you. Gordon Quave, Gordon D20 Hail, and well met fellow traveler. Oh, it, actually that that um that even did a pretty good sound alike for the Baldur's Gate announcer. That's pretty awesome. How are you doing, Renamar? It's really good to have you here. I hope all is well. And this, this is just freaking gorgeous. Look at this. I love this. This has got to be Baldur's Gate itself, right? Ugh. Okay. Um, oh, I can actually just continue. I didn't think that actually saved. Uh, instead of doing that, though, I think what we're going to do is we're going to delete this and we're going to start and create the character properly. Uh, we do need to delete these. I didn't do that last night. Those are old early access saves that will not function in the new version. So it's kind of sad to get rid of all that progress. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how much control I actually have over that Renamar, but I might have to go in and see if I can tweak it, but I'd have to figure out where I would do that. Okay, we're going to do a brand new... Should we... We can change difficulty anytime. Should we just see how di Tactician differs? Or should we go balanced? I kind of... Actually, just I, I want to see what the balanced gameplay is like. We can always do a future gameplay where we do tactician. One of the streamers that I watch, uh, Ash Monster FTW, is not super duper. Like I, I think she's played D and D before, but she's not like a. As far as I'm aware, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think she's a regular player of it. She is playing this at tactician, and she is actually kind of kicking butt. It's really kind of awesome to watch <clears throat> just posted on discord about how they said there are zero microtransactions and that the game is intended to be fully enjoyable from the start i'm reconsidering waiting to purchase because that should be supported yeah i have zero regrets supporting this game it's just phenomenal I've even got a pre-order on the PS5 Collector's Edition because I really wanted the fancy Collector's Edition, but I couldn't justify getting it for the PC because I already had the early access, which upgrades to Digital Deluxe. That, of course, is coming out, I believe, what's this, August? So it should be September 6th, so about a month. So, there's our lovely body horror for the day. <clears throat> Who are you? All right. We are not going to do one of the origin characters. We're going to start as a custom. We're going to go half elf, sub race, high elf, cantrip. I think we're going to go with true strike. We are not going to be a barbarian. We're going to be a paladin monk. But we can't actually start as a Paladin Monk, of course. We have to get to level 2 for that. So we're just going to begin as a Monk. Background, I'm not certain. There's several that I think could be interesting. I'm kind of leaning towards Acolyte, but Noble might also be interesting. Folk Hero could potentially work. I mean, you know... Monks and paladins would both sort of fit that. Monks tend to be sort of scholarly as well as martial arty, so sage could potentially work. Entertainer could definitely work. So I don't know. 
I can't imagine why they get the Anki have a racial hatred for mind flayers, I know, right? Recognize deities, understand holy rites. Maybe we'll go sage, just to be a little more off the beaten path. You are curious and well-read with an under unending thirst for knowledge. Learning about rare lore of this world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. Okay, so we need to edit our appearance. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Health. Something just woke up down here. Kind of like voice six. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can... Where to next? Hmm. What was that? I like four and six. We might go with four, I think. Okay, that will do for skin tone. We're not going to do any scarring or... No, don't need any of that. We don't need body art. We are going to go with heterochromia. Yeah, that's what I've heard as well, Renamar, and I'm curious to see how that works out. So we're going to do one green eye, one gold eye. for hair. Actually, I wasn't planning on using this hair. That looks kind of good, though. Elder James, how's it going? I think I like this one the most. all right I'm doing pretty good thank you for asking it's been a bit I hope all is well with you okay I think that'll work we're not gonna go with any graying and I don't think we need any facial hair so the only thing left uh, let me see they have introduced new body types that were not in early access. So we could go with a male body type. We could go with a large body type, which would fit pretty well for somebody who's kind of the frontline warrior type. But I'm going not so much for a strength build. We're going to be doing a dexterity build. 
So I actually think the standard smaller body type is probably perfectly fine for her. So let's proceed. Actually, let's go back. We're not done yet. Uh, we got our class. We've got our sage background. We need abilities, so let's clear these. It's Crystal Dragon, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, well enough, finally settled here in the UK? That is awesome to hear, Elder James. I'm really glad. Okay. Let's clear this. And we're going to do... We're going to actually leave our strength at 8. We are going to do our plus 2 bonus on dexterity. So that gives us 16. Nope, oh, hang on. Um, what do I have? Constitution 13. I, hmm. This isn't working out quite the way I expected. Getting ready and packed to hit the road and head to the hotel. Thought I'd pop in for a moment and say have a great stream and weekend. Thank you so much, CD. Enjoy Baldur's Gate 3 and talk with you sometime after we get back. Sounds good, CD. I hope your trip goes really, really well. It's good to see you. Okay, that's a plus three. That's still a plus three. Well, that gets us the 14 in charisma I was looking for. Now I've got this weird extra point, though. Okay, I guess we can do that. Let's take a look at our skill proficiencies here. So I've got proficiency in Arcana and History, and I'm gonna obviously keep... Oh, well, actually... Maybe not so much Athletics. I mean, it would be fitting, but it's Strength-based, and Acrobatics is better for us. Maybe I'll take Stealth instead, and Insight. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Acrobatics, Arcana, History, and Insight. I think that'll be good. Uh, is there anything else we need to do? I guess we need to proceed. I like this change. I like that they've gone and... In the early access, I had so many characters named Tav because I just overlooked the option to change it. I like that they kind of funnel you right through changing your name so that you have the opportunity. So, kind of behind the scenes lore here, we're going to treat this as a soft continuation of the Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 playthrough that I did on stream many years ago. Uh, and we're going to assume that this character is sort of kind of the daughter of the character I was playing then, whose name was True Sight. So we're going to call her Purity, reflecting her monk and paladin background. But her full name is Purity True Seer. I don't think we're going to put in a second name in the game, though. Hey, Ansara, how's it going? It's good to see you. We are almost done with character creation. At least the first character. 
because we need a guardian. So we're gonna go... Yeah, we'll do human. Remarkable. Follow your instincts. Remarkable. Okay. No. Well, actually, you can, but that's not what the Guardian is. We don't, don't actually strictly know what the Guardian is, but it's not a member of your party. In Early Access, it was like... It would prompt you to create a second character in Early Access as well, but the other character was never used. And the prompt at that point was, who do you dream of? So the implication was that it was some sort of romantic interest. Now they're calling it a guardian, so it's much less obvious that it might be a romantic interest. And it's very possible that it's changed so that it no longer is. Um, but you do have the ability, apparently, to recruit people that are not origin characters to be in your party. So if you want to play with an entirely custom cast of characters, you are able to do that. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, I don't think I ever did on Star Up, but I, yeah, that's true. Now that you mention it. Okay. It's not too, too bad. Maybe a little bit darker. Oh, <laughs> that just undid everything. Was that one? That's close enough. Yeah, so they basically have to do that because there were so many consequences for the choices you make in the game that you can skip recruiting the origin characters like Gale and Asterion and all of them. And even if you do encounter them, you can potentially get them permanently killed. So you need to have a way to make that up. So you can actually get replacement characters, which you can create yourself. Now, I don't know when or where you can get them, but it is possible. That's different. I don't remember that. Now, that's the other thing. Now that the game is out of early access and into full release, apparently about 33% of the, uh, the intro, the Act 1, is different than what we remember. So, there will be a lot of familiar things. There will also be a lot of unfamiliar things.
I do love this intro movie. Very true. Oh, this is new too. I do love the new uh, the new loading screens. Now, I think I should have the Twitch extension, so you guys should be able to inspect my character and quest log and stuff like that. Oh man, this looks so much nicer. Look at the fire effects. This is gorgeous. Holy crap. Oh, and it does a lot more actual character voicing too which is interesting well, i guess i shouldn't say a lot more but some this is the pool that thing came from the parasite now writhing behind your eye skill checks some dialogue options require a skill check a dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number your character's skills add a bonus to this roll <laughs> nope. Okay. That's fine. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Okay. We exploded it. What's hiding here? We have a topaz. And everything looks so much better. This is incredible. And the day started off so well. It did. It really did. Else got okay, so that was Lysel's pod. Might be other survivors. Onyx. Rune Slate. Oh, I didn't even know you could go up here. Is this new? How do I get up there? Oh, you can literally just walk there. Okay. Visions project. 
into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Okay, that's great, but I want it. Let me take it. Maybe I need more pockets. <laughs> Did she say maybe I need some pockets? That's awesome. Now, I am using strength as my dump stat, so... Carry capacity could be an issue. Not everyone made it out alive. Oh, is there somebody in there? Yeah, there is. This is really cool. Okay, now there should be stuff up here too, right? Can't get there. We'll see about that. Now this used to be fire in the early access. There also used to be something to loot over in this area. It's a little odd that it's not there anymore. A scroll of Thunder Weave, Potion of Healing, and Gold. One day. Oh, God. I feel better. Okay. So now we know how to heal. I guess that's about it. Oh, wow. That sounds different. It sounds very suitably gross. When I get around to playing this build an investigation build character, I usually do. Thing is, this game, they estimate it's got about 17,000 possible ending states, which is not the same as 17,000 endings, but there's basically, it, it's an immensely replayable game. So there will be other playthroughs for sure. I will take your gold. You no longer need it, sir. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Brain jar. Oh, I didn't even think to check on that. What if I... What have I got? Keychain, alchemy pouch, camp supply sack, underwear, tasteful boots, homely clothes, quarter staff, 4 to 11 damage, versatile wielding with both hands. Okay. Monastic boots. Made of tough, well-worn leather, these boots have survived years of use and can survive many more. Monastic robes. This garment's pristine condition, despite years of martial training, speaks to a supremely, supremely disciplined owner. Very nice. Eldritch tablet. years of humanoid history elves dwarves humans and more flash behind your eyes okay mind flayer horticulture oh they have a terrarium well they call it a an aquarium yeah i guess it is fluid filled okay
Everyone's favorite part of the game. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Are you guys getting prompted to vote on these options? Or, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so I have to actually start the polls. I think yesterday the voting and the, the the plugin were having a little bit of an issue working. So let me guys know. Let me know if it's if it's uh, working all right or if things are weird. Hmm. Okay. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Investigation. Inspect the exposed brain. Strength. Break the skull. Dexterity. Gently prize the brain from the skull. I don't have any idea. I don't see a poll, but it might... No, it won't work on the phone. It has to be a browser. Like a PC browser. Okay, I won't worry too much about it for now, then. We are going to attempt investigation. Oh, we can... Oh, wow, look at this. We have Bahir Blue, Dragon Flame Red, and Scuffed Metal. I like the Scuffed Metal, though. You notice a Dima. A swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Attempt a cerebral extraction saying mindful of the swelling. Why do I have adv situational advantage? Interesting. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. So what do you guys think, yes or no? Mutilate the brain or spare the creature? Any injuries might weaken it. Advantage because the brain wants out or your little parasite? Yeah, it could be, could be. I'm not sure that the plugin is really working. <laughs> we'll just spare it. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Um. 
What should I call you? Us. We are us. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Okay. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. It's a mind player minion, kill it with fire. That is true. Some allies may temporarily join you. You can directly control their movement and actions. Okay. It's true, it's a mind flayer minion. Mirnith. Oh, I think that's the character is Mirnith. Sorry, Brain. You'll have to make your own way down. See if you can find a way to teleport. Oh, he got down. Okay. I just want to take a quick look at the graphic options. I would love to get the uh, anti-aliasing improved. Or maybe it's already as good as it's going to get. I guess that's fine. A pet intellect devourer? Yeah. Sadly, it's only temporary. Unless... I guess I can't really take my knowledge of the early access for granted. I assume it's only temporary. Let's put it that way. Okay, what made you first we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Okay, well, I guess that's the conversation done. Oh, that's cool. The cutscenes are so much better now that they're actually finished. <laughs> oh, so much for sneaking. Oh, this is a completely different battleground, too. What the heck? Oh, this is all different. All right, well, uh, I can I can attack you. Whoa! Very nice. Alright, you go and murder this thing. Oh, uh, I guess we've only got the three. Victory 
awaits. Another day, another fight. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, the monk is kind of fun. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Okay, what do we got here? We have bodies. We have to loot, obviously. So we get a scimitar. I think one of them had an axe. We'll take the crossbow. Hand axe. Dead thrall. Money's always good. Now, I don't think we actually took any damage in that battle. That's pretty handy. Potion of healing. And we have a healing thingy. What part of the lies before me? Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Simple robe, short sword, gold. Arterial mesh. Lovely. Can we go that way? Probably not. No. Seems simple enough. Okay, now we're back in familiar territory. Stuck fast. I'll go look around. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! I wonder if we're going to be able to save her this time. Rescue the Illithid's captive. The console appears dormant. Look for a switcher release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Inconceivable! Percussive maintenance failed! Well, we'll see if we can find something. Okay, so I don't remember there being a socket that you can manipulate. Dark mind? I don't know that one either. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Brain in a jar. Yum. Let's see if the brain in the jar does it. The 
mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Okay. Uh, apparently it's not the Dark Mind. Oh. Working on it, Shadowheart. Don't worry. Need a key. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Well, there's a gold key. Certain items such as keys, ingredients, and camp supplies are sorted into handy containers. That is such a huge improvement. I love it. That one's not a dark mind, it's a slave mind. Eldritch Rune. A strange energy buzzes through this alien object. You're sure you've never seen any of the like, yet part of you recognizes it as a component of some bigger machine. Excellent. We can hope. Another brain. Every game with an inventory should have sorting. Yes, I agree. Insert the rune into the socket. The console hums to life. Yes. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Difficulty class two. Well, I think I succeeded on that one. Aren't all the companions you find some variation of evil? No, not necessarily. I mean, one of them is a vampire, so the argument could be made. I'm unclear about where she would align on the thing. Um, Lazelle, she seems more lawful than anything. I think Gale is probably neutral or good. But, uh, like we were talking about earlier, actually, I don't remember if you were here for this part of the conversation, but... You're not required to play with any of the origin characters. You can create a custom party if you want to. Used gold key. Okay. 
This is the map of your surroundings. You can view quest locations and place custom markers. You can also teleport to waypoints you have discovered. Lawful evil? Really? No promises. Auto save successful. The whole Githyanki society is hardcore, lawful, evil, anything and everything for the all conquering Lich Queen. Okay. You're probably right then. Actually go and try to connect the nerves immediately we have 15 turns which you can't see because my camera is covering it your martial arts training lets you make an additional unarmed strike as a bonus action after attacking with a monk weapon or unarmed strike Lesser Hellsbore. You eat a demon's brain only to get taken out by three imps. Yeah, what can you do though? a little bit different here uh, and by the way three minute warning we've got ads beginning in about three minutes High defense. Can I not do my unarmed? Ooh, I hit. You go murder this guy. Oh, or not. Okay, you be a distraction while we murder the other guy. Healing... We actually have not taken any damage so far. Oh, 
for your spies is mine. We must take the transponder. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a quick break right now, and then we will continue and figure out if we're going to go murder the demon or connect the transponder immediately, because we do have a little bit of time before we run out of turns. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Whoa! But this one here, this is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. <laughs> oh. Dad. All right. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There. Thanks, Instara. Remembered at precisely the wrong fraction of a second. <sighs> there we go. Crap, he has a bad motivator. God, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Fools, Rota! Talos be with you. What was that, Liggett? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. Oh. I forgot. This could be problematic. Mm. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was so freaking close. Oh boy. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well. <laughs> Holy crap. That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. 
I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. Look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I'm back, and I can't escape the feeling that we've forgotten something slightly important. So I think we're going to reload our autosave. Thank you, Aranor. <laughs> we got her out of the pod and just left her there. <laughs> I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right then, let's get going. I'm Purity. Shadowheart. One moment. That's a very good idea. Always be prepared to play D&D &D at a moment's notice. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. Oh, come on. There we go. Nobody has a nice, good old-fashioned name like Morgan or Bob. <laughs> to get out of here. Okay. Wow, that's our very first miss. I seem to be a little bit on fire. than Bob. <laughs> oh, Shadow Shadowheart's got some pretty good movement going.
Oh, oh my god, what the heck? Why am I almost dead? Best be on my way. I guess I was kind of on fire. In some fantasy settings, people have names that you would expect to see in real life. In others, names are made up to sound exotic. And then you have the mixed approach. People named Zelor and Lithnara alongside people named James and Catherine. That's this trope. Got it. <laughs> Time to strike. Okay, let's see. Okay. Murder. It is, Greeny, it is. How are you doing? It's good to see you. That's all I can. Oh, no, I can still do unarmed. I want to try to kill this guy. Shadow Heart. What can you do? Charm, Shield of Faith, Resistance, Sacred Flame, Radiant Damage. Level 1 Evocation Spell. Okay. Um... Not feeling well, but can't do much about that, so I'm just standing at her work chopping lettuce. Ooh. I am sorry to hear you're still not feeling well. I hope you feel better quickly. I can't do much of anything more. We're getting there. I don't suppose she's got any kind of a missile weapon. What else do we have? Still breathing. 
I thought I had a... Yeah, I've got a light crossbow. Did she have that? Oh, wait, not Lazel. Well, oh, no, nah, no, nah, okay. Send to Shadowheart. We'll just pass it along. Mysterious artifact. Now, I guess that's not going to do us much good unless I've got. No, 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 okay. We have no ammo for it, sadly, so that doesn't help. Think the DM might be fudging some of those save rolls? I... It, it's, it's possible. It's possible. Blood comes easy these days. Okay. Can we... Not enough resources. Okay, now. Swipe at a creature to knock it prone. Lazel, you're the best armed of all of us. Seventy eight of a hundred and fifty. I'm starting to worry we might not have enough time to kill this thing. It is down about half of its hit points, though. If I can keep it prone, I think our odds improve significantly. Oh. Reinforcements are arriving. I don't remember that ever happening. Okay, I can't... Oh, I... Oh, topple... Okay, so I can't just keep toppling forever. I have to take a short rest before I can do that again. Interesting. Oh, I think our Mind Flayer friend is just about dead. Hand, astral knowledge, ranged attack. Off balance, interesting. Gotcha.
and dazed. Okay, Shadow Strike, or Shadow shadow Heart, what do we got? Blessing of the Trickster, Resistance, Sacred Flame, Could try that again, Guidance, Firebolt, Main Hand, Ranged Attack, Piercing Shot, Concussive Smash, possibly Daze's target. Let's try Sacred Flame, now that he's got some pretty, there we go, penalties. 55. I don't know if we can do this. This is... I'm starting to get a little nervous. We might have to end up reloading. But I would love to kill it if I can. Stop the intruders. They must stop his Ow. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe this is not the approach. Uh, did I just... I think I... Oh, that was... Oh, shoot. That was second hand. That doesn't do damage or heal others. Crap. Uh, well, let's just go for it. Oh, that was actually a pretty hefty hit. 50 of 150 down to a third. Can she do any healing? I think I already used up all her healing. <laughs> quite possible, Elder James, quite possible. Can I disengage, jump, dip, shove? What path lies before me? Hurry before they strike. Oh no, what are you? Oh crap. Yeah, I, I I think we might have made a little tactical error here. The commander is level eight, the party is level one. <laughs> okay, you know what? I actually feel pretty good about our performance then, if that's true. And I don't doubt that it is. Oh my god, and these Cambians have 82 hit points each. Well, we had to try at least, right? Oh my god, there's so much more stuff here. Critical miss. This isn't even the hardest difficulty level, Elder James. This is normal D&D &D rules. You can go tactician mode if you want to. Which actually doesn't change normal D&D &D rules, but it stacks the deck in opponents' favor by making them smarter. It improves their AI. It gives them extra items in their inventories they can use to buff themselves. They will take advantage of terrain more. All kinds of fun stuff like that. Uh, uh. 
That's true, Aaron Lord. That is true. Okay. Let's try this again, only we're actually going to go and see if we can escape instead of being stubborn and trying to murder the Demon Lord. You killed the commander twice yesterday, Greeny. How the heck? Oh, right. We have to <laughs> we have to go get Shadowheart again. Light on my feet. Plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. I like her preparedness. The oversized D20's gotta come with us. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. Guiding bull, Tom. Well, let me go back to where the autosave occurs, which is right about here. I'm going to create a manual save, and then maybe we'll give it one more try. It's just so we don't have to go back to rescue her again. I guess the other thing we could do, it seems a little bit backwards, but we could always take the approach of just doing everything we possibly can to buff the Mind Flayer and make it more able to take on the demon. That's where I got set on fire. That's fun. Okay. Probably a bit of a waste, but we're going with it. Thank you very much, James. I will hopefully catch you again soon. It's really good to see you again. Uh, and she's almost dead again. But at least she's not on fire. Okay, uh, Guiding Bolt. Oh, <laughs> 
Critical hit. Oh, it's a level one spell slot. I should not have wasted healing word. Oh, well. Stealth checks. Hundred and seventeen. Missed. One fourteen. I think we might just go for the helm. On the move. It's clear. Hurry before they strike. Okay. Lesser Hell's Boar. Rude. Oop. Maybe I shouldn't send her alone. Cambian Lieutenant. Can't afford to let up. Have to keep going. There we go. Rude. Oh, here they come. Come a little closer. Your turn. 
Oh crap! Oh no! Uh, good. The uh, how can I? Um, let me. Failed. so dead I like this new sequence at the end here it's um whoops this creature can't activate the transponder well that's unfortunate to me no harm in trying the helm's alien transponder Descent from Avernus. Now let's see what happened to our character. Even if you can't be seen, some criminal acts can be overheard. Interesting. Apparently still alive. That's a plus. <laughs> nice, Renamar. I should have that too. I haven't seen them yet. Actually, that's not entirely true. I've seen little bits of them. But I haven't had a chance to take a really good look at them yet. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Check yourself for injuries. There should be many of them. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Okay. Find a cure. Journal updated. Autosave.
And I realized something last night when I... Oh, look at this. They've changed up the wreckage of the ship. This is so cool. Everything looks so different and so great. Um, but yeah, I realized something last night when I loaded up the game just to check that everything was working. When I do get the PS5 version in a month or so, it's cross-save compatible, so in theory I should be able to switch between them so we can see how performance varies uh, between PC on my system and the PS5, and then continue the same adventure on whichever one works better. I will take that gold, thank you. Shadowheart? Now's not the time for naps. I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. What happened to our gift friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place, but anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. And now we're way. in a telltale game. Shadowheart will remember that. Oh man, the amount of detail they've added is incredible. I love this. I mean, it looked good in early access, but it was nothing like this. Mangled Fisher, empty. Oh, and I'm fully healed somehow. So apparently that's a method of healing that you can take advantage of occasionally. If you're ever completely out of hit points because a Cambion murdered your face, just crash a Nautiloid ship and plane shift to another dimension and then fall out of the ship after getting clocked in the head, fall to the ground, and perfect healing. There you go. Fully restored. Okay, so the pouch is up there. Well, there's a healing potion. Ignoble hat. Foppish and fluffy and built for just the sort of dome accustomed to having it set upon the head by other people. All right, we have to test it. Yep, yeah, okay, thanks guys. I like that they've got more tutorial stuff, but... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Love it. We're going to keep that for a while. It is a great hat. You don't need that money. Somewhere nearby. We're taking it. 
You could read books and notes you have picked up in your inventory. Be sure to collect food and drinks. You will need them to restore your health and resources when taking a long rest. What's in here? Perfumed letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and leave me at the meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. I recognize this part. I watched Greeny Trini play it last night, then fell asleep later on in the middle of stream. Hey, Kronos. I heard more of Greeny playing it than I saw, because even though I have played a bunch of this before in early access, I kind of wanted it to mostly be new. But I saw bits and pieces, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, I have a loot. It's always important to grab all the loots. Suspension of Murgrass. Wait, where was that? I think I missed it. Skills. Oh, alchemy. Touching a little of the substance to your lips, you begin to hear muffled pulses of sound, daubs of thoughts belonging to those nearby. Interesting. I don't remember the alchemy system from early access. I was watching in my chair on my laptop and I suddenly woke up and my wireless headphones had died and I'd been asleep for like four hours. Wow. That'll happen though. You've discovered a waypoint. You'll be able to teleport to this location by selecting it in your map. Belladonna. Sublimate of Belladonna. In this transmogrified state, or it, yeah, in this transmogrified state, Belladonna loses its toxic properties, gaining instead an engrossing perception enhancing characteristic. Okay, I like this new sort of uh, technique of bringing alchemy a little more into the foreground. That sounds like it could be really useful. Oh, did they redo the map as well? It looks different and it looks really nice. Dagger root. Ashes of dagger root. Often fed with the blood of the fallen, dagger root is said to help create new victims, a property that only intensifies once the plant has been dried and burned. Done now for the weekend, has had to go do blood work this afternoon. Oh, I hope everything is okay. Maybe, get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Ridiculous. What are the chances of that? Oop, I missed some Belladonna. They want to do one test, but insurance says they won't approve the test unless they do blood work first. Oh boy. More of those wretched things. Uh, 
Uh, can we... Oh. Oh, this is... This is cool. I like that. How do we... How do we stealth? Hide. Don't want to draw any attention. I'm ready. Keeping my head down. They'll never suspect a thing. Let's try not to set myself on fire this time. On my way. Is there anything up here? Good job. Whoops. Okay. Murder time. Ow. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Yes. Uh okay. Can we level up? I can't level during combat. All right, fine. Prospect. Yes. Go to level up screen. Centurion, welcome on in. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 has been ridiculously entertaining since early access, and everything I've seen so far today suggests that it's only gotten better now that it's fully released. It's really good, and it's improved a lot. Uh, okay, so we are going to add our second class now. Multiclassing. This advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can only level up one class at a time. Fueled by the oath you swore to uphold justice and righteousness, you are a beacon of hope in dark times. So we will gain the Lay on Hands ability, Divine Sense, Healing Radiance, Level 1 Spell Slot Unlocked, and... Uh, specialization available chosen subclass Oath of the Ancients. There's a huge pop up when you first start the game about that with the option to. Yeah, there's also settings so you can turn off and on nudity. Uh, for the record, nudity is enabled, but I have turned off genitalia. What about anti-paladin? That's not a thing, but that's true just in D&D 5th edition. There's no such thing as an anti-paladin, but there is the paladin oathbreaker, which is basically what you're talking about, and that is possible, and it is in Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oath of the Ancients, Oath of Devotion, Oath of Vengeance. You fight on the side of light in the cosmic struggle against darkness to preserve the sanctity of life and beauty of nature. Healing Radiance. Oath of the Ancients Tenets. Oath of the Ancients Paladins abide by the following tenets. Kindle the light through acts of kindness and kindle the light of hope in the bleakest hollows of despair. Shelter the light. Where love blooms, stand against the devilry that would snip its stem. Preserve your own light. Delight in culture and small joys to preserve the light in your own heart. Or we can go devotion. 
Following the ideal of the knight in shining armor, you act with honor and virtue to protect the weak and pursue the greater good. Courage, stride dauntlessly into action. Compassion, show clemency where prudent and lend your arm to those in need. Duty, tend your responsibilities, obey just laws, and support those entrusted to your care. I like that it says obey just laws. Unjust laws, you don't need to obey those. In 5e, paladins are no longer lawful good only. They're divine warriors, so evil gods can have paladins. Exactly. Also, five-minute warning, guys. I'm taking a break in five minutes. Uh, so, just keep that in mind. Sketchy, it's going really good. How are you doing? And then there's Oath of Vengeance. You have set aside even your own purity to right wrongs and deliver justice to those who have committed the most grievous sins. Oath of Vengeance paladins abide by the following tenets. Fight the greater evil. Exerting your wisdom, identify the higher morality in any given instance and fight for it. No mercy for the wicked. Chasten those who dole out their w villainy by wiping their blight from the world forever. I'm glad to hear that, Sketchy. Enjoy your lurk, Aranar. I'm not sure which one I like. I kind of like the sound of the Oath of the Ancients, honestly. I'm not really super familiar with this one. But then, a Paladin Monk, it kind of almost seems like Oath of Vengeance would be pretty good for that one. I mean, any of them could apply really well. It does not sketchy. In fact, it's kind of questionable whether it's working properly even on PCs at the moment. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll get that fixed if it is broken. Healing Radiance. Uh, this Holy Rebuke. Maybe we'll just go Oath of Devotion. I think that kind of fits with her. Okay, now we truly are a Paladin Monk. But we'll probably keep leveling Monk a few times. And then we'll start leveling up Paladin a little more. We're going to just keep her uh, level 2 Cleric of Shar. We're not going to multi-class her. Okay. Intellect Devourer Cerebellum. Sounds delicious. I wonder if we put that in camp supplies. Let's have a look. Assuming it's coded to 5th edition paladins, it would be. The differences in their higher level auras and their channel divinity ability. Yeah. Is Animal Whisperer mandatory? No. Nothing is mandatory. It is incredibly entertaining, though. Breathe deep and move. Wizard's Bane Oil. That sounds fun. Oh, wait, I missed one. One of these things has got contents. Not that one. Okay. Where to next? Grass and Belladonna. Oh. Also, we've got containers. Thieves' tools. Is this an open world or a quest driven static story? It's a quest driven story. I don't know how static it is. 
It's got like 17,000 different possible end states. Which is not the same as 17,000 endings, but it's replayable out the wazoo regardless. Uh, can I attack? Thank you. Let that will fill my pack. Shadow Heart, can you grab it? Ugh. Okay. Still breathing. Is it called differently in this? Uh, well, it, are you referring to the ability in Divinity Original Sin? If so, then yes, it would be different. But I need to take a break, guys. So I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes. If you need to grab some food or a drink or something, that's a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Instead, I'm going to phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Getting there. Two thirds. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least she didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Was a bit preoccupied. Oh! Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! Good job, everyone! That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. The Yellow Leader, it seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> Oh my god, the timing! He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. It worked. Oh. Oh, oh. I did not account for that. Uh, this is awkward. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh. This is so cool. Is that the sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. It's a good thing she has the worst helmet ever. Only problem is, she seems to circle around in exactly the direction I need to go. So this is gonna end badly. You have the worst. What the hell? I have no words. How did I not get caught? What the heck? Okay, I am back. Intellect devourers are scary and adventurers the 
I've seen people pull out a wand of magic missiles and discharge all seven charges with the roll to lose the item in order to try and one-shot them. Wow, Renamar. Thank you, Sketchy. Uh, okay. Why can I not get the gold? Maybe I'll wait till the debris scatters or something. I'll come back for it. That's a little annoying. Oh well. I thought it was around here that you met Asterion. Oh, it's further up. Okay. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Monk dexterity, the elf's grapple is weak and basic. Slip the hold. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst. Oh, Jesus. Shh. Not a word. Let's try to keep that lovely neck of yours in one piece. Hmm? And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Headbutt the elf. Now, what happened to all the... Um, can we not use guidance from Shadowheart? Or maybe she doesn't have that, I don't know. Boom. You wretched little. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldurian. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it. We need to get rid of it. 
Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Okay. Oh, and we get to level him up too now. Excellent. Rogue level two. Okay, so nothing special or fancy here. We just basically accept. I don't think there were any choices to make. Okay, is there... Nope, no options. Oh, we do need to go down there. Oh, hello, pig. Scared boar. Probably didn't need to do that. Deep grooves in the mud around that rock. Can't throw too heavy. Asterian, you seem like you might be supernaturally strong. Oh, hello. What can we do here? Whatever comes. Ready. Can't throw. Let's move. Uh, that's, I guess, the unfortunate part of being a dex based paladin monk. If I'd been strength based, I might have been able to get Wonder that thing out of the me. way. But strength is actually my dump stat. <laughs> Shadowheart can move it. She didn't seem to be able to move it. Let's get on with it. I'll go this way. Too heavy to throw. Nope, she can't do it. Maybe if she shoves it. Nope. Hmm. Too heavy to shove. Have a lot on my mind. And whoa. Nope. Yeah. Click and drag it. Not enough strength. What's next? Oh. Mm. Aha, thank you, Greeny. Harper's Notebook, Ruby, Harper's Map, Potion of Speed, some gold, and an onyx. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is frequent mention of sacrilegious activity among a local Selunite sect. This stained, ragged map is passed through countless hands. A little harp marks an area called Moonrise Towers, with a small inky crescent sketched in the nearby forest. Below the crescent is a more recent scrawl, Cash. I like Cash. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Don't waste a step.
That was kind of interesting, because that was a little more detailed than last time. In early access, if I remember correctly, all you had to do was pass a nature check and you basically got the stuff. Seems like a good time to save. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. This isn't right. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Take advantage of the lapse. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close the eyes forever. I remember that being a bigger encounter. So interesting. Maybe it's a different encounter. Yeah, there are some farmers that had enthralled. I remember that too. Dead goblins. Over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Do you want supplies? Stinking of dead goblin? I don't know. Goblin scimitar. Supply pack, bone, goblin bow. Touch the sigil. What's the worst that could happen? A hand? Anyone? <laughs> Who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. It's very unfortunate that this requires a strength check. Oh, here we go. I can add a bonus. You're in luck, Dale. Deep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. <laughs> no need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. 
Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. I was, yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't, you don't say. You don't be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? <laughs> Gail does have... to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. <laughs> But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. I do love his dialogue. I just wish he didn't have to... Well, let's not spoil anything. There are some quirks to his character. Okay, so let's see. Class features, spell, level 1 spell slot unlocked. Specialization available. Chosen subclass, evocation. So we could go abjuration, necromancy, conjuration, enchantment, divination, illusion, or transmutation. Abjuration spells summon wards, banish enemies, and nullify magic suitable for those who wish to defend themselves and others. Learning abjuration spells from scrolls only costs you 25 gold per scroll. Per spell level, not 50. Powerful attacks and enchantments. I think we might actually keep him as an evocation. Let's go... Shield. Featherfall might be very useful. Although I do like having an attack spell. But these are his actual spells. He's still got his cantrips. So let's actually do that. We'll take Featherfall just to ensure we actually do have it. Excellent. Okay, let's check the map here. Okay, so we're just kind of north of the main section of the Nautiloid ship. There's the roadside. Okay, so we've got, yeah, we do have two teleport points available. If we go down here, we can reveal the area around you. Oh, what's this? Balsam. I have to come back for that. That looks like it wouldn't be accessible from this area. Is this game based on AD&D 5th edition or some derivative? Uh, actually, there hasn't been an advanced Dungeons & Dragons since 2nd edition. It is based on D&D 5e. It is based on 5th edition rules. It's very similar in that regard to Solasta, but Solasta is only based on the open source version of the game. This is licensed. They worked with Wizards of the Coast to design it and build it and make it. So it's got all of the D&D content in it. 
or maybe not all D and D content, but it's based on entirely D and D content at least. That shows you the last time I played D and D. Yeah, you got a lot to catch up on, but it's a good time to get into it, and this is a good way to get into it. I don't recognize this. This looks like it's been redesigned. This is heckin' cool. I love this. Let's save again. Chapel entrance. This is a really nice redesign. Okay, we should probably... Can I... How do I select the entire group? That's not select the entire group. Group mode, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. Did that not... Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. I get it. Which is kind of a fancy trick, since boots don't generally have eyes. Unless... I guess they actually can have eyes for laces. Now that I think about it. Detested the magic system so much you gave up in the early 80s and it hasn't really changed since then. Alright, fair enough. Not all games are for everybody. I think we're going to have to go around. I don't have enough of a height advantage here. Come on, folks. And we should be okay to resume normal speed. Torn trap net, or net trap, rather. Broken. Must have been here a while. I really like that they've got more of the main character dialogue now. Your character was generally pretty voiceless in early access. And you still seem to be in most of the cutscenes. But at least you speak up when you're out and about. Okay. Of course it's dangerous. One of them carved up Joru's whole squad. So let's leave it. Oh, there's Lazel. No. We take it to the group. We'll get back to them in a moment. Do you play as a single lead character with associates, or are you managing the entire party a la XCOM? Uh, you play as a single character you create, but I do believe you will be able to create all the other characters you play with later. You do control all of them, unless... Is there an option to turn that off so that they all get AI control? I think you end up controlling all of them. Right now, I'm certainly controlling all of them. They move on their own to follow me, but when we get into combat, I take over for them and they do what I say. Okay, now, Gale. Witch Bolt, Thunder Wave, Fire Bolt, that's what I'm looking for. There we go. Two down. And a pathway opened. Okay. Come on. Can't stay idle. Here we go again. You can't always be a gentleman. Pawn to cleric four. 
<laughs> I like that line. That's pretty awesome. Oh, there we go. Nice. Three down. And I do believe... Okay, so she's left. She might be the only one left. I'm considering getting it for my daughter, but I don't know if her laptop has the specs. Now that it's out fully, the specs should be available on Steam and whatnot. It's a great game, though. I really enjoy it. I would recommend it. It's one of the three games that I've really been looking forward to in the latter half of this year. We've got this one, and then we've got... Oh, shoot. I probably didn't want to... Crap. Sorry, Asterion. Can I interpose her? No. Can she do... Oh, we can do Guiding Bolt. If it reaches. Feel my mistress's Boom. There you go. That's not going to do much for you. Very well. Let's have some courage. Um Yes, here. Boom. And done. So that's how combat works. It's I don't want to call it turn-based because it's not quite, but it's sort of turn-based. It's like D&D turn-based rather than traditional XCOM style turn-based, though there are a lot of similarities. I don't know if the game has parental control. Oh, that is tr that's a very good point. I didn't even think of that on Stara. This game can get extremely dark and very adult. Yeah, yeah, if she's if she's young like preteen, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a great idea. Celasta might be a better option. Have to keep going. PhD, okay, then that's fine. <laughs> Thieves tools, trap disarm toolkit, oh, long sword, leather armor. Excellent. Spicy pork sausage. That sounds delicious. Shovel. Scale mail. Yes, congratulations to her on the PhD. That is pretty awesome. Talus. Divination without magic. A well-loved book. I love that description. Describing the meanings of the different talus cards, as well as how to use them for fortune-telling. The pages with the comet, death, and the ten of waves are carefully marked. Oh, scroll of mage armor. Very nice. Simple robe. Excellent. So basically what I did here was we had that foundation stone dangling on a crane above the square here. I had Gale use his burning hand spell to attack the foundation stone, which burned the rope that was connecting it to the crane, dropped the stone, killed these two guys outright, and broke a hole in the floor, which will enable me to get down into... Where is it? Uh, come on, guys. I need more. There we go. I couldn't open this door earlier. I should be able to open the door now. Actually... I could probably just open the door because we've got Asterion, he's a rogue, and we've got Thieves' Tools, now that I think about it. But we don't need to, because now we can go in from above. We can just drop a rope down and climb in from the top. So, we've got options. You discovered something fun there. What's that, Ansara? Oh, there's a plaque. We need to read this. If you don't drop that rock, you can accidentally fall through the weakened floor. That's awesome. Text is too faded. 
Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. I wonder what happens if Shadowheart examines it. Text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. Ah, excellent choice. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Oh, interesting. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. So two of them have specific dialogue for it, but the other two get Millie instead. That's really cool. You found this out the fun way right after the fight outside? You pulled the trigger, Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, excellent choice, Renamar. Excellent choice. Oh, should I rest? Hey, let's loot their little camp here before going inside and then crash. <laughs> They still hear you even if you just jump down. Okay. Now, the question is, do we go and deal with Lizel or do we hop inside the door here? Let's get going. I think we should go rescue Lizel. Moving ahead. Oh, um actually. Where are those backpacks? Don't we have more loot together? Maybe not. Bed rolls. No traps, please. There are. Okay, so we'll have to. We'll have to go and deal with these things. Carrot. Torch. Rope. There we go. So we've got rope. We can make our descent. Chalton Fire Swill. Judging by its fiery aroma, this heavily spiced spirit packs a powerful punch. Dagger and more thieves tools. Excellent. Now, all right, they're up here, so we want to go this way. Okay, quick save. Just Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Persuasion. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Monk persuasion. The Githyanki's an intelligent creature just like you. Release her and let's converse civilly. Paladin, deception. Your quarry looks dangerous, but I've handled worse. Leave it to me. Get to safety. It's interesting that that's a paladin option of all things. Uh, and then we've got the regular responses. Rather demanding for a woman in your position. Why should I? Don't worry. I'll get them out of here one way or another. I like the monk one the best. So we'll use Shadow Heart's guidance. We'll use our charisma bonus. It's only a DC 7. Oh, whoops. Oof, man, I barely made that. Converse with it. I barely know what it is. But Demais, if it's intelligent, we can't just... Hells, this isn't worth it. I'm out of here. Enough gawking. Get me down. Now that they're out of earshot, sure. Paladins are weird now. They're all about their oath rather than what we classically view as paladin values. Yeah, I guess so. Listen, you'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. Uh. Something's on my mind. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. What does Geich mean? Mind flayers. The atrocities we are becoming. 
becoming. There's no hope for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. Okay. Gail, would you do the honors? I'm sure. Uh, can we do the honor? Oh, there we go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Wizards of the Coast has been moving D&D &D more and more to a generic system rather than fitting any particular setting, even their own classic settings. Yeah, that's true. And I actually approve of that move. I think it's better for the brand as a whole in the long term. I thought you already had a gear with you right here. A pity that. I made an offer and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. Wow. All right, we journey together. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Wait at my camp. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I don't remember that I'll part. Your camp. Do not keep me waiting. All right. Journal updated. The Githyanki warrior. With dragon head. egg mushroom. Oh. Sorry, Gail. I didn't mean to keep no you. One back home will ever believe this. Recipe unlocked. It is one of life's small ironies that the first step in creating an elixir of fire resistance includes burning its main ingredient. I like that. With haste. Ah, and now we're back here. Um, let's see. Ravaged Beach. Where are my thieves' tools? Where and where's the? Oh God, I'm getting awfully close to my encumbrance limit already. How do I sort? Thieves' tools. Damn. Thieves tools times one. Dexterity bonus. Sleight of hand proficiency. Sleight of hand expertise. And we'll just pile guidance on. Oh, it's DC 20. Oh, crap. Okay. We're going to need all of these bonuses by the looks of it. Nice. You can use a trap disarm cool toolkit to dis to neutralize dangerous traps. Um Delicious. Let's make them go independently. Just like old times. I'm going to make him go hidden not so much because he needs to be hidden but because it will make him move more slowly.
Oh, I like it. Homely. <laughs> of course he would say that. Damn it. Okay, I think Shadowheart is also fairly perceptive. Okay. Oh, I like that they've added the little beams of light to further highlight the traps and stuff. That's a very nice touch. This is probably a good time for a quick save before I'm too far in. Silver necklace, ringmail armor, bone. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. You don't say. Soul coin. Great sword, studded shield, and more bone. An iron coin. I prefer gold, but I'll take it. Picky, picky, Asterian. Picky, picky. Not a sound. Okay, Shadow Heart. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Now what? Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Uh, he didn't notice that one. Although you would think the pattern would be pretty clear by now. Ooh, both of them missed it. How about Gale? The air is ripe with magic. Use a light... Oh, that's right. He's human. He can't see in the dark. <laughs> I'm so used to having all these elves and other character types that can see in the dark for various reasons. I almost forgot about him. Oh, right. Um, a little slower, please. Unsurprising, given his human nature. Immediately. Never a dull moment. That's a friendly looking shadow. Wow, nobody caught this one whatsoever. Now that that's lit, I wonder if Gail will be able to see it. Tell me about it, sir. No? Okay. Um, okay, I don't like having them here. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting room. I'm always a little nervous in here, even knowing what I know about it. Okay, I'm going to have these two stick here, and then... I 
guess we'll start with Shadowheart because she's already here. Oh, actually, Asterion. Warhammer. Not proficient with martial weapons or warhammers. I can't afford to fail. Let's avoid that trap. There's no real light source over here, is there? Take the gold. Really? Now? Yes, now. It's fine, don't worry. Crap. Uh oh, where did I oh, I'm over here. Maybe I should stay. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Nobody is getting it. Wow. Okay. The unnerving thing is I don't remember precisely what it is they're trying to detect and failing. I know the general layout of this place, but not every single detail. <laughs> All of them. Wow. Okay. Let's explore. I'm going to have everybody gather in this part of the room. And then we're going to get Asterion to investigate the central sarcophagus. Time for a little death. The element of surprise. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Okay, well... Tolerable. Of course. We'll investigate the plaque. Text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Better make my next move. Here we go. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Oop, what did I see? Not sure what just happened. Mission has to come first. Hmm, let's see. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Damn. Quiet. It's only DC ten. That's not too bad. Oh, he's too far away to get guidance from Shadowheart. Hopefully we won't need it. He's got some pretty hefty bonuses here. That should do it. The Watcher's Guide. 
Death's Promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against that target gains true strike. Proficiency with this weapon type unlocks... What is that? Oop. Damn it. Uh, something. Time has dampened the spear's sheen, but the center glows a faint blue. The magic it exudes feels old, terrible, and divine. The spear was given to its previous owner for his unerring loyalty even after death. Engraved key. Okay. Step carefully. Five minute warning, guys. I'm gonna quick save again. Does now let's see if we can move on. And look at this. We managed not to set the entire room on fire for once. Oh, uh, let's get group mode back again. Got to try to remember to light areas up for Gale. Gale has a candle, and it's likely that I have a torch. But I like the ambiance of turning all the lights on. Unless I have a particular reason for not wanting to do that anyway. Uh, but... Let's see. He does have a candle. Do I have to put that in one of his hands? I actually really like the torchlight effect. That looks really nice. Plate, glass, chalice, cup. You can use those so he's not blind in a surprise combat. That's true. Protection from evil and good. As students of the arcane arts, wizards can learn new spells by studying certain spell scrolls instead of using them. Oh, Asterion has a spellbook too. No fun at all. I'll have to maybe do that in camp or something. Okay, so we have heavy oak doors here, medium toughness. And then a regular door Let's over go. here. Let's not get caught off guard. Never wanted the easy path. Oh. Refectory. Wait a minute. I don't remember this. No, no, no. How does it open? The shadows are amazing in this. Uh, find the Githyanki crush. 
Blazel told us the Githyanki should be able to cure us if we can find one of their crushes. Someone named, Zor named Zoru should know more. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, it looks like it is time to take a quick break. So I'm going to go make some tea. That means this is going to be a slightly longer break. Instead of three and a half to five, it'll be maybe six to eight minutes. But I will be back shortly. I will run clips so you don't have to miss anything if you've got uh, ads. So just give me a few. And if you need to get up and grab something yourself, now's a time to do it. So I'll meet you back here shortly. The uh, 16-9 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. At first, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. Oh. <laughs> wow. Who knew Struthiomimus was so strong? What? What? Oh. Excuse me. There we go. Oh shoot! No! No! <laughs> Damn it! It's a good thing I saved recently. Oh, it's a good thing I built the foundations. Minus five to hull strength. I mean, it wouldn't have destroyed anything. I don't know. Uh... Hallway? Oh. Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. You're in a passage. You're in a maze of twisty little passages, all alike. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential of lore. for a few more a sequels, new viewer I wouldn't even consider it. Eld, please prepare a Skull. comfy seat for our guest. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> Get back here. Where are you? Warning. Shields are offline. Warning. Ship in critical condition. Pray 
to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. The hell? They are just absolutely shredding everything that I don't get myself. This 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 is working for me. Oh my god. Now would be a real good time to prove me right, guys. Wow. Do you mind? You're interrupting a thing here. Let's go there. It's no! No! What? What are you... What? BB, what the hell? That's... Um... Thanks, Auto Drive. been looking for you. <laughs> Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Letter for the Moving up in the world, eh? That's it. Got to go. Oh my god, the timing. <laughs> Where did it come from? And he's completely unmoved by what he's just walked in on, too. Watch the disc. No, watch the. No, watch. No. That's good. There were some areas they have. <laughs> the 
clearly there are some areas they have not invested a lot of work in improving. <laughs> That's got some decent damage. I think I'd like to heal now, please. Sword. So we're on the Barbary Coast, apparently. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir. Blobaku reports that they found themselves briefly in some extra-dimensional space. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Kronos. Now, let's see if we can get Asterion here to open this door for us. With a lockpick. Or maybe not. Okay, so we're going to go a different way. And it does sound like there's somebody on the other side. Oh. Help! Something's coming out of the crypt. Well. See anything? Nothing. All clear. <laughs> My face protects me. I can't waste any more time. Here we go again. <laughs> Wham. Oh, it didn't kill her. Thank you, Aunt Stara. Flea combat. Um At the ready. <laughs> Oof. Rude. Okay. Um Let's get this over with. I guess we'll murder her. Nice. Ooh, basic. Oh, great. That's lovely. Ow. Okay, Astarian. Uh, are you able to... Excellent. There we go. Not enough resources. Oh! Wait, the wait, what but the door. No lock, no handle. How does it open? What the hell? <laughs> That's not good. Ignis. 
Some objects are unusually strong. You need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. Oh, crap. Uh, this is not ideal. Yeah, I've got two. Hey, someone's in here. Concussive smash. Great. Um, oh, he can do Firebolt. Gaping wounds. Yeah, this is not going so good. Oh, Gail, please don't burn to death. That would be awkward. Um. is taken care of. Can't even catch my breath. At least it's my two characters that are really difficult to hit. Ooh. Not difficult enough, it seems. Pizza wing day? It's pizza day for me too, Kronos. I will be making pizza later around 6. I hope you enjoy. Have a fantastic rest of your night. I don't remember this being anywhere near as difficult as this. Murder. There we go. Not enough reaction. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, ow. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's awkward. Can't reach destination. Uh... Okay, Gale is kind of blocking the door there.
He has to. What's he doing? Nice. Okay, Astarian. What do you mean, not enough resources? Oh, crap. Oh my god. <laughs> A member of your adventuring party has died. Oh boy. Um Harper's map, detect thoughts. Scroll of Revivify. Oh, we can't do that this turn. Oh yeah, I already figured that out, Greeny. I like the default ones though, actually. Death saving throw successful. Okay, she can do it now. Um... Whoops. I forgot about this guy. That's a little awkward. This is the worst fight. Oh god. Okay. It's uh yeah, it's 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 going mad. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. What's going on? Ugh. Took you three restarts to get through this? Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm loving the new version of the game, uh, Mad. How are you today? Let's maybe explore the rest of this before we go and do that. So we came from over, where do we, we came from over here. The big room of death. Don't waste a step. Let's see what's over here, and then we'll go and see what's happening on the other side. This is a game I'm thinking about getting. Only thing I wish for is random dice rolls for stats, but the point buying system seems to be more viable to get yourself going. Yeah, uh, I can understand why they went with it. I don't have a problem with the way they've done it, but I can understand that. Remember, you can change to story mode. That's true. Purity is taken in grave key from Asterion using magic pockets. 
Oh, this room. I actually kind of think maybe we want to go back and do the other stuff first. I really don't get why they don't have random rolls, though. It's a single player. Well, yeah, it does have multiplayer, though, Anstara. It does have multiplayer. You can do co-op. So it's not purely single player. I can kind of understand why. Easier to balance for true. Ridiculous. What are Kimball, Bog, and the others doing up there? Maybe we should go take a look. Not a chance. Could be a trap. Just Let's see if I can get everybody out before I start murdering. Need to keep focused. I see a way. Don't mind me. Having slightly higher stats doesn't have a huge effect. It's more satisfying. It may be a weak excuse. Actually, I disagree with that entirely. It may be a weak reason, but it is still a reason, and it is a consideration that game developers have to take into account. May the gods take you first. <laughs> Rude. Oh, you colossal jerk. It's a consideration, but so what? It's a consideration, so you have to take it into consideration. That's how considerations work. Build differences make for a far more extreme range of player power. It's impossible to balance for those. Well, it could also be that they simply had some other reason for doing it, right? We don't really know. Celestial fiends and undead. many hit points. What do you mean no target? Um... There was a lot of outcry then about not being able to do that, true. <sighs> 
This is already going really badly. What do you mean, no target? What is the point of having sleep spell if he can't cast the sleep spell? Thank you. Maybe they just don't like the rolling method and they decided not to... Uh, take care of it. To not implement it. Yeah, I think I need to murder this one first. Nice. Rude. She missed. There we go. Wow. Okay, that didn't go quite as well as I had hoped it might. I have a new plan. It was very rude, Mad. The only fighter classes got the percentiles? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. In fact, in Baldur's Gate 2, I believe uh, True Sight had an 1880-some-odd strength. You'll get over it. Oh, Hells! no. Something's coming out of the crypt. Keep looking. Action surge. Perform five attacks in one turn. Oh, you jerk. Hamstrung. Dipped in fire. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is going even worse than before. <laughs> and here I thought I was being tactical and clever. I'm starting to wonder if maybe we come back here later after we've leveled up to level 3 or something. <laughs> I'm, I don't know that they necessarily did, but those other guys, they started using things like hamstringing and snare and all kinds of stuff to prevent some of them from moving. I, I think we're backing out of here. I think we'll go back and we'll do the tomb area instead of this area. We'll come back here when we're level three. That's a bit much. It's fun, but I, I, and I actually suspect we probably could win at this level. I just don't know if I have the patience to make that happen. Scribes, but no sign of a struggle. Scroll of burning hands, gold. About their words that they commanded protection. Quarter staff. Gold, heavy key. I'll take all of that. Don't want them having any weapons left. Well, we haven't even gotten to the grove yet. There's lots we can do before we have to face them. For that matter, we don't even really have to face them, though obviously we are going to. That's just wasted experience if we don't deal with them at some point. No traps, please. I concur. No traps would be nice. Peridot Ring. Considered sacred by some gnomes and halflings, the gem set in this ring sparkles brilliantly. Quarterstaff, gold... of the dead mm. didn't think anyone still worshipped him well this doesn't exactly look like a temple or shrine that's in current use does it maybe nobody does worship him
the inscription is in a language unknown to you. Okay, how about Shadowheart? I need to concentrate. Concentrate on this for a minute. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Gail? The inscription is in a language unknown to you. All right, Asteria, you're our final hope. The inscription is nope. in a language okay. unknown to you. Fine, fair enough, whatever. There's no lights around here, huh? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything actually to do there, so never mind that for now. What's that? What's what? Oh, the button. Oh, that's cool. They look so awesome. Oh, they don't know about me, though, because I'm stealthing. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. I read a theory about this Gon Jurgle that part of a side plot involves him returning to take his portfolio back from the Dead Three. That is a really neat theory. I like that idea. Let's get this over with. Oh, I missed a chest. Uh, I should have tried a sneak attack. Is there anybody? There's this one. Can I get a line of sight on them? Bleed for me. So that's a sort of. These guys look so much better than they did before. I love the individual outfits and all that stuff. I don't love that they seem to have a lot more tricks up their sleeve, though. This seems like it's going to be another potentially dangerous battle. They changed the cinematic, yeah. It looks real good. I don't remember them using so many spells. OK, 
Okay, we are silenced. That is unfortunate. How long is that going to last? It doesn't say, huh? Can't speak or cast spells with a verbal component and is immune to thunder damage. That's interesting. Really, Asterian? Nothing will stand in my way. You're just gonna sit there and Ugh. Oh okay. Can't cast spells. Uh, but you can use potions. Faith will protect me. Okay, that one's down. Time to push my luck again. Focus. Yeah, unfortunately, I really don't want to wade into my own grease effect. And she doesn't really have any kind of a ranged weapon attack, I don't think. Oh, oh, they're starting. Are they going to run in? Come on, run in. You know you want to run in. Oh, you saved, you son of a gun. Can we not do... Ooh, Gale's about to die. Where's the guy with the concentration silence? Spill some blood. I wonder if this is worth the cost. There we go.
You... <laughs> Rude. I don't remember them having access to this kind of spell effect. Seriously? These guys are so obnoxious. Murder him. Thank you. Holy crap. Your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to restore hit points and other resources. Ugh. No one stopped me yet. What's inside? I'm taking your gold. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. We're almost done. We have somebody to meet first. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Explore the ruins. The Amulet of Lost Voices. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle Scriveners of Doom. I right, I remember that one. The best name ever. Fire amber, alchemical ingredient. Combine three of these to calcinate them into ashes. It's going good, Zerpy. How are you doing? So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Paladin, what manner are undead what manner of undead are you to ask such a question? I like that. Does it feel like a DD game or a Divinity 3? Uh there's very little distinction, so yes. The answer is yes. I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? What you need to understand about divinity, Zerpy, is that they effectively, they, they, they basically made Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2 as audition projects to get Wizards of the Coast to let them make a D&D game. I mean, it's not the only reason they made those games. They wanted to make awesome games, and they did that too. But... After they made each one, they went to Wizards of the Coast and said, Hey, look at this. Want to work together? And after the first one, they said, huh, Well, we kind of like what you're going for, but not just yet. So they went and they made Divinity Original Sin 2. And then Wizards said, Oh, hey, let's do it. Let's make Baldur's Gate 3. So 
So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? I'm not sure what you mean by that, Zerpy. Also, four minute warning, guys. We're taking a break in four minutes. No one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. Life's only value is as currency. Doesn't matter to me. Otherwise, each life is of, in, uh, is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for it. That's probably the one she would go for. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Mortal lives are not single, they are part of a greater whole. Oh, actually, I like that one. And that depends on the virtue of the life that is lived. Let's go with the monk option. Few strive for such balance. Fewer still achieve it. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Nice. Oh, did we not search this one? We did not. Okay, we have a few other things we need to loot. There was that chest that I missed earlier. I can't believe they ramped up the difficulty on this battle so much. They were kind of pushovers in early access. I gotta say, that was kind of interesting. Oh, maybe I did get it after all. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've ever thought to actually inspect this sarcophagus after that encounter with him. We have another plaque here. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Still comforting after all this time. Elixir of the Colossus. Drink to increase your size. Weapons deal an additional 1d4 damage. You gain advantage on strength checks and saves. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Instantly upon inhaling this elixir, your abdomen seems to swell and the muscles in your back feel like sheets of hammer-beaten steel. These chambers are much changed. What kind of character did you roll again for your solo game, Greeny? I know you were a monk in the, uh, the co-op one. I didn't catch what you went for with your other game, though. I think it's time we finally took a rest, which is appropriate, because now we're down to about a minute before the break. Okay. How do we rest again? Let's map, ping, journal, ah, camp. Oh, you went with Brock. Excellent. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Excellent. So now I guess we know where we can recruit followers. We can't seem to do that yet, but that will come in time. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the monk so far. And I'm going to enjoy it even more when I get Paladin up to a level where I can do Divine Smite with my... Uh, Fists of Fury. That's going to be a really fun. Or, you know, whatever they actually call it. It's not called that, but that's okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a bit. Oh, you... S what?!
What? <laughs> oh, that was a great one. Oh, you're still with us. Take a swim. <laughs> I that was completely an accident. <laughs> uh, wow. And I thought I had done some parking jobs in this game. So it doesn't think much of my odds of surviving here for long. Which, honestly, that's fair. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in agreement with it. I don't think this is how this is supposed to go down. <laughs> oh, okay. Not today. He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. Oh, hello. That's not gonna fight the dragon. And down you go. Steel helmet of minor alteration. Happy New Year, dragon. <laughs> I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. It feels too much like this is finished. It's not at all finished. I've still got so much more to do. But it's coming along so nicely. I really like what is happening with this place. Oh! Okay, I am back. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Oh, that's a nifty outfit. Is this the Twitch drop stuff that we got? I have something to ask. Oh, her outfit looks much better. I mean, mine. Do you think to be idle? I knew your kind to be fragile. Thank you, Erlor. I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. We need to pace ourselves. Don't you know an exhausted warrior is an ineffective one? A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Okay. And with that cheery thought, let's check the traveler's chest then. Where did they stick that? Um, 
Storage box. That's probably not it, but that's okay. That would be it. All right. Yeah, I like this outfit more than her regular monk outfit, actually. Periwinkle undergarments, channeler's trunks, stream hopper loafers. <laughs> Traversing fast paced bodies of water is a chore for all, apart from the fashionable folk clad in this footwear. Chatterbox's tabard. <laughs> Bewildering Adventurer's Pack. The lip of the pack is stitched with the likeness of a helmeted warrior, their eyes sheltered. Something protrudes from the helm like a strange floppy arrow. Peculiar Clothing Chest. This chest bears the faint likeness of six noble figures from a far off near mythical land. Mask of the Shapeshifter. The magic of this mask comes from its gory provenance and makes it perfect for discerning actor, sleuth, or person with a mirror and time to kill. Drake General Die. Okay, that looks all right. Um Yeah, that's a pretty good looking outfit. What were you two talking about? I'd be careful with Lazelle. You don't trust Lazelle? She's not of this world. I'd be surprised if our interests remained aligned. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Agreed. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's moved a little bit. Withers. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Focus on the divine energy you feel from his presence. <laughs> Not happening. There is a great divine energy indeed, but the source is unclear. What kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Oh, interesting. Can you help me change my class? 
You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin. That's outrageous. I mean, honestly, that doesn't seem so terribly outrageous to me. Seems like a pretty good deal. Sacrifice a little coin, get a whole person with all those abilities back that can aid you in getting way more coin. Okay, who have we got? We've just got these guys for now. Okay, so that's not the rest option. Let's see. We'd better make our way... Oh, actually, before we go to bed. Um, let's go to the Traveler's Chest. I don't really want to be over-encumbered. That's probably not the best thing for a monk. That's the one downside to this class. And using strength as my dumb stat. That's better. Fully resting. Use the required amount of count supplies to fully rest, recovering all your hit points, spell slots, and short rests. Not using enough camp supplies to rest will only partially recover your resources. Okay. How do we get out of here again? I think it's off this way, isn't it? Or do we just... Leave camp. Take that. Yeah, it kind of looks like they've changed up the map. Hidden cache up there, huh? Maybe we should make our way over that way. What was that? Lots of traffic because a truck was full on burning up with flames on the side of the expressway? Holy crap, Kronos. I hope everyone's okay. Random treasure chest. No need for an X to mark the spot. I'll take it. That's where we rescued Lizelle.
I hear shouting up ahead. We Do you know? But be careful. We need to check this first. Another random chest. People leave these things scattered around all the time. It's just an everyday occurrence. Oh, we're here. Okay, well, it's auto-saving. That's a good thing. If experience is teaching me anything, it's that every combat encounter is more complicated than it was before. Will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Open the gates, Zevlor, now. You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Really, Aranar? Okay. By the nine hells, open the gates. <coughs> Probably just as well, because my main character, she's really not all that range-focused, which is a little unusual for me. That was cool. I remember he was introduced around now. You guys aren't supposed to... Oh, I forgot to stealth my way up here, didn't I? Critical miss? First time I finished this encounter without anyone dying. That's interesting. I strike with precision. My sickle and sword. Oh my god, it's because he had a torch. That's rude as hell. How dare you. What is with all the critical misses? Okay. Okay, come on, Gail. Mm. 
Wow, he is a certified champion high jumper. Damn. Slip around here, maybe. Uh, quickly. Make it hurt. Uh, damn it, he wandered into the fire. And dead. Okay, I guess that's all he can do, or she can do. Damn it, Gale. Rude. Okay, come on, Asterian. Out of the fire. I guess it doesn't matter that he failed the hamstring shot then. He just murdered him. Who's this guy? Forget about him. Sorry about that. My mistake. Can I go down now? Close enough. Well, you guys are right. That's also the first time I've never had casualties. That's awesome. Broken loot, well, broken loot is better than no loot at all. morsel certain actions are frowned upon by others get caught and you might find yourself in a prison cell I wonder why they are informing me of this now
Why do I have a dark aura around me? Is it because I've got a soul coin or something? Or is that a visual indication that I'm overburdened? Because I'm probably overburdened again. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Laisel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. <laughs> nice. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Ah, yes, encumbered. Okay, thank you, Eleanor. I am shocked. I'm sure you all are too. Okay, um, I'm ready. I really need this warg to get out of the way. It's kind of stopping me from looting the boss. One crisis after another. This is obnoxious. How the heck do I get at the loot? Let's try this way. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Ah, there we go. You can just click on the name. That works. Gloves of Power. On a melee hit, Possibly inflict a minus 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. That's perfect for her. Holy crap. Okay. Get everybody? Looks like everybody. Another step forward. Hello? Oh, thank you. for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. Our fight, one fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. <laughs> the human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Take a swing at the tiefling. Take a aim a blow at the human. If you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. They didn't actually lose anyone, but let's not go into that. Ooh, DC 15. Okay. Oh. Oh, nope. That's not going to do it. Guidance might have made the difference there, but... With a thunk, the armored man collapses, unconscious. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! Could have been worse. The bigger fighting goblins as they did each other. For once. <laughs> Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. isn't as thick as I thought. Now 
That's settled. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. You could have fooled me. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though... I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. I am... Um, yeah. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Okay. Let's not rob Aridin here. Taking another break? What do you mean, Aranar? You mean in-game? Because I should probably take a short rest, actually. Oh, yes, I've got one more break coming up in roughly half an hour. Slightly less than half an hour. Just a brief respite. There's a hot fix out. Oh, well. Yeah, when I take my next break, we'll uh, we'll get that. Do you know what the hotfix corrects? Is it anything that's worth stopping the game and reloading it now for? Because I could do that. Seems like a good moment to talk. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Did they give him a new outfit? He looks cooler than he used to. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Fixed a potential crash feat triggered by the light system. Interesting. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. 150 bugs addressed. The patch notes detail fixes for several laundry lists of issues from general crashes and blockers to bugs affecting general gameplay, multiplayer, UI, audio, engine, and cinematics. Okay, that sounds like it might be worth it. Gloves of missile snaring. Looks like I've got quite a bit. I'm 
gonna keep one of these bows. Finally crafted silver locket engraved with the words for Papa. I'm going to keep hold of that one, actually. That seems like it might have significance to somebody. Fix potential crashes that could occur when closing screens like the options menu or when ending dialogues. Yeah, I think when I'm done selling, I might just go ahead and... Uh, I might restart the game for that one. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? That sounds like it would be well worth it. Okay, what has he got that I might be interested in? That's 386 worth. I could actually get these gloves of missile snaring, although I think I like the gloves of power better. Ring of flinging. Throwing boost. The wearer gains a 1 die 4 bonus to throw damage. Ring mail armor plus 1. Chain shirt plus 1. Hedge wanderer armor. Padded armor. Rain Dancer. A pale staff inlaid with droplet shaped topaz. It is cool to the touch. Gale can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. Spell Thief. Once per short rest, you regain a level 1 spell slot when you land a critical hit with the Spell Thief. Oh, they've got some cool stuff. I don't remember all of this from the original or the early access version. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives. Our futures. Oh, geez, it's tough to make a choice here. AC bonus from decks limited to plus two. Okay, so I don't really want that. Dragon's Grasp. I'm not going to get anything now. I'm just going to take the cash. Um... There we go. 839 gold. Sylvanas, guide your path. Thank you, sir. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course that doesn't okay, let's save. And we're going to quit the game and we're going to restart it after I patch it. Okay, so where's Steam? Okay, yeah, it's updating now. Two hundred megabytes. Hopefully, it'll be fine. My internet is still a little bit off. Uh, that's why I haven't been uploading anything. No new shorts, no new vods or anything. So I can still stream. But 
everything's a little bit wonky. I'm expecting a new modem replacing the one that I normally use. Hopefully that will be in today and I can get that set up before tomorrow if all goes well. Didn't actually need the 200 and it does seem to need it for me. But it's already installed and now verifying. There we go. No problem, Marathon. And thank you for the heads up. That does sound like something that could have impacted uh, the stream, so very appreciated. Pickpocketing is a quick path to profit. Just make sure your sleight of hand is up to the task. In combat, hit O to enter tactical view. Interesting. You can drag objects in the world to move them. Stronger characters can move larger objects. That's not what I said. All right, can let's see what all this is about. No? I have something to ask. Can't just leave the kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. <laughs> you should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. To leave is a heavy choice. It will weigh on whatever path you walk next. Where the weak have need, the strong have a duty. Stay. I like all these options, except for this one. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Just like I was saying, I don't want all these lives on my conscience. We need to stay. So, fine. We'll stay. If we survive... It'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. Excellent. Oh, another plaque. Let's see what it says. This grove is kept by Sylvanus's faithful. Okay. I also want to see. I kept. Oh man. We need to sort. They need to auto sort. Let's sort by type. I kept robes. I like that better. Okay. It maybe doesn't look quite as appropriate for a monk, but it looks nicer. That outfit is kind of hideous. We've known enough grief this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Don't be grumpy. Fair enough. We'll get to the city soon. I am not Recruitment a dossier. I don't remember this. <laughs> You're an idiot. A man and a woman stand side by side in armor emblazoned with a red fist surrounded by flames. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fist. Join today and protect Baldur's Gate. Led by Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard himself, you'll be tasked with guarding the city streets, protecting its people, and upholding the laws that govern us. Speak to any of our friendly fists... <laughs> friendly fists, wow. Throughout the city or visit our headquarters at the Sea Tower of Balderon to find out how you can blaze a new career path today. Okay, this does not seem to be marked in red for stealing.
Okay, let's go talk to Will. Oh, that's children. not Will. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. This whelp is hopeless. You're wasting your time. It's good advice, child. You'd do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Mm, doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Nice. I love that I got that. That's such a great check. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Carla, I come. I'm looking to part cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Carlac. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. <laughs> bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Die if I met the road. There we go. So what's that? We've got six now. Excellent. Swing and swing and I think we've got people down here we need to speak to. Water. My dagger. You're gonna be sorry! Aramis. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Two new journal updates available. Kaga, leader of the druids, ordered the tieflings to leave the grove. Zevlor fears they won't survive the road and asked us to intervene. Get help from healer Nettie. Find the Githyanki Kresh. This game is so good, Gooby. I love it. I mean, I loved it when it was just new and early access, but it's so much better even now. We recruited a half-elf named Shadowheart. She was also aboard the Nautiloid and infected with a parasite. We recruited Will, a monster hunter known as the Blade of Frontiers. He is on a mission to kill Karlak, a powerful devil who is a danger to the entire Sword Coast. 
We found Zoru. We should take Lazelle to see... Okay. So we need her. The Pale Elf. We met a strange elf who had also been infected with a parasite. He was hostile at first, but agreed to join us when he learned we were infected, too. The Wizard of Waterdeep. A wizard named Gale joined the party. He claims to have been on the Nautiloid, which means he's infected, too. All I'm hearing is that you need to go on a gobo hunt and just wipe them all out. Well, I mean, that's an option. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? We don't need the completed ones for the time being. Inspiration. Oh, Gale and I both have the same inspiration. When a character performs an action that's true to their background, they gain experience points that receive inspiration. Inspiration may be spent to reroll an ability check. You can have a maximum of four inspiration. If you are at your maximum inspiration, completing background goals only grants experience. Sage, you are curious and well-read with an unending thirst for knowledge. Learning about rare lore of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. So what uh, kind of build have you done so far, Gooby? I think, is the extension working well enough for you to see my character, I wonder? I've given up on using the voting, because that doesn't seem to be working. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. It's working now. Oh, maybe maybe it's the update to the game that did it. So you should be able to see my character. I've rolled up a, a paladin monk. Purity, the high elf, high, high half elf, level one, one monk paladin. Excellent. You're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Wow. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. This is really cool. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I've heard stories about Larokin. Not all of them good. I have not. Uh, at least not in the full version of the game. I've used it plenty in the uh, previous version of the game, the early access. Also, five minute warning, guys. I'm going to be taking my last break in about five minutes. I have to go pretty close to right on, like maybe ten minutes to six or so. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Laroican for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroican will be known far and wide. You'll see. Okay, I'm very interested in finding out more about this. Don't be grumpy. Me and Roland would never admit it. But they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Nice. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Hope so.
I made a half-orc barbarian. I'm RPing that he was feral before the tadpole. Tadpole gave him enough intelligence to become civilized. As he progresses and is influenced by big cities and churches, he will start taking points in Paladin. He'll also eventually despise his half-blood. That's awesome, Go uh, Gooby. That's really cool. I like that story. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Item received, gruel. Doesn't taste half bad. Auntie Ethel. Ah, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks. Wait. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Wait. And will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. What is she doing here? Did they fundamentally change her story or what's going on? Is she not the hag from Early Access? Or am I confusing two characters? Let her fuss over you. What are you, an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Interesting, Gooby. I had no idea. And what is this exactly? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I don't know about this. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. Oh. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is... Whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, man. Okay. Um, we will continue this conversation in a moment. I need to take that break, so I'll be back in three and a half to five. That better not be a zombie in the uh, tank there. Uh. On second thought, I think a shower can wait. Did I? Excuse me. Oh my God! What are you? Ah! Oh! Well, that sucks. Who I'm in danger from. Oh! 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> Taking a look. Oh, is that a feather? But Pro feather. Oh, that's some kind of... Oh, it's weed killer. That's the stuff I wandered into earlier. Uh-oh. My, aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Sarians are shoot sure to shoot first and ask questions later. I oh, know they failed to notice my hands. Maybe they won't notice my face. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> now I'm terrified because I've got so many companions, it's inevitable that one of them is going to set some of these off and I'm just going to get whacked. Like that, for example. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. This way. Oh. Nice move. Up. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. Pardon me. This program is too stupid to glean your desire from such a wonderfully crafted sentence. Please try something else. All right, I'm back. What's the worst that could happen? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. Thank you, Aranor. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help, serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. Such as? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Let's see these. Hey, bother. Potion of greater healing. Thank you very much. Now, whether we actually go or not, that's a big question. I don't know that we want to do that. Coralon's Grace. Natural Pugilist. You gain a plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. Unhampered resistance. While the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus. It's giving me a lot of stuff that's really, really useful for monks. I wonder if they customize the lists based on your party composition. What is this? This light flexible staff is of elven make, marked with mithril sigils that channel magic in the blink of an eye. Okay, I'm taking this. 
even if we don't end up going and talking to her at her home, that's an awesome staff. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peck. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl your face before the troll. Okay, that is a really heckin' awesome weapon. We're doing that. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 9, Inns and Guest Houses. With the dust of their journey still clinging to boot and cloak, the canny traveler will no doubt seek to secure accommodation within the city post-haste. Below are some establishments that are typical of what the city has to offer. The Blade and Stars, easily identified by its sign, a wooden shield boasting a curved blade against a field of stars. A handwritten scroll on the margins notes that the sign is currently not in place. This inn is comfortable, quiet, and highly recommended for travelers seeking to recuperate from their journey. Expect unassuming fare at a reasonable price, moderately clean rooms, and passably clean patrons. The Blushing Mermaid. For those seeking an altogether rowdier night in the city, the Blushing Mermaid should be the first port of call. Named for the life-sized spoon... Named for the life-sized wooden mermaid on display, this inn is known for its ill-reputed patrons, frequent brawls, and altogether unsavory reputation. Nevertheless, I feature it here owing to great interest from my readership. I can only advise that you exercise extreme vigilance should you choose this establishment. Elf Song Tavern. Most of this passage is illegible due to water damage apart from the words and phrases nearest to the inner margins. Dimly lit, proprietor Alan, disembodied elvish singing voice. They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Wow. Don't mind me, I was just passing through. No bother. We're just daydreaming anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? You know, just becoming a hero. A pint in a clean room would do me a world of good. Just surviving the journey is ambitious enough already. Uh, the Blushing Mermaid for me, bit rough, but the eel's cheap. The Elf Song Tavern. I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dunnis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern. First thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. <laughs> I like them. Okay. Ah, uh, we can't take that. But we can take all this stuff down here, apparently. Oh, looks like Asterion's up. Nice. Use thieves' tools. A pleasurable deal, the shocking truth. Below is a transcript of an interview with the writer and director of A Pleasurable Deal, Mr. Kingsley Harp. Interviewer, what was the inspiration behind this, if I may be so bold, entirely lewd piece of drama? It's about exploring the taboo, seeing who we as a people really are. Yes, Robert makes a deal with the Cambian, but who wouldn't? Well, I like to think most people wouldn't. Then you don't know most people. Everyone wants something. Everyone needs something. Cambians can see it. In a way, they know us better than we know ourselves. But at the end of the play, Robert dies horribly. What does that say about 
what we, as you put it, need, you forget. Robert dies because he broke away from Carlisle. He didn't stay true to the deal they made. So you're encouraging people to make a pact with Hell's offspring to give up as Robert did his soul? We have only one life. Why not make the most of it? So, what was your deal? I beg your pardon? In fact, this was your directorial debut, wasn't it? You couldn't even get published in the tabloid Baldur's Bash before this play came out. Did you honestly trade your soul for an erotic play? I, uh, all right, we're done here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's take this book, I think. I don't know that I need most of this crap. All right. What now? Um. Secluded chamber. Oh, where is this? Get help from Auntie Ethel. Oh. I I kind of have a bad feeling about this. Oh, well, maybe this isn't something to worry about so much then. Need to find a way forward. We can't steal anything here, though we might be able to read some stuff. Invasion plans for Eltergard on the origins of the Zentarim. Have you spoken to Korga? Not yet. Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. No words from the Elder guard. No, sir. A lot of territory to cover clear for part of the goblins. And any cure found there? Yes. An aging map of Eltergard and its surroundings. The cities of Baldur's Gate and Elturel are both marked, but it's the wilderness in between that's covered in notes, symbols, and ciphers. The freshest ink marks, marks pictographs of goblins and gnolls shown gathering in the forests and hills nearby. I'll give it a shot. An excerpt from the ongoing metatext rebound by... Josepha Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. But perhaps greater still than their monopoly as the continent's largest private army, the true achievement of the modern Zentarim is in the sanitized image they present to the world. Viewed by most as an efficient, if unscrupulous, mercenary organization, few would guess at the Black Network's dark origin as a cult dedicated to the dark god Bane, once bent towards bringing all peoples to heal beneath his creed of tyranny and domination. Many among their ranks scoff when confronted with this fact, citing overblown conspiracies and reassuring me that the only gods to whom the Zentarim give worship today are the twin deities of profit and power. This is not to say the organization has entirely shed its dark side, however. Alongside the clenched fist of their military, another hand works from the shadows to ensure that the network prospers even in peacetime. For just as vital as the movement of troops is the movement of goods, legal and otherwise, and there is no border or market that is ever truly closed to one bearing the seal of the black network. Variety is the blood of the city itself, for better or worse. The devoted will find a place to worship, the dedicated will find work to be done, and let it be fully understood by any who wish to visit. The criminal enterprises in Baldur's Gate thrive as heartily as the rest. The stained well-thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically see out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Gionathar, the Risen Road provides an overland route 
all the way from El Torel to Baldur's Gate and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sailed at Gionthar. A portion of the road approximately halfway between El Torel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for Salune worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll. However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. All right, I'm not going to read every single thing. But that was cool little bits of lore. The Devil You Know, an autobiography. Let's see if we can go find Nettie. Okay, where are we? Like we want that place. Oh, you can do custom markers? That's cool. Right. I've got food, water, my dagger. Just a bit of a quick save. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. I see. Anything else on your mind? Mm. He's still staring right past you. Mm. Not this time, kid. Metallic gloves, huh? Mind if I do. Rope is always good. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, DC 15. Okay, we'd better add guidance. I think that'll do it. 29. All that for seven gold? A new set of thieves tools is probably more than seven gold. Is it now? That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. Twenty four. <laughs> okay, maybe you don't need extra luck, but since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. What do you say, guys? Let's see if the polling is working now. Oh, that looks more encouraging. Anyone have a vote, or is it simply not working again? Pocket the ring, wow. I 
I actually don't know that I want to do Pocket the Ring because it kind of conflicts with my paladin identity. Just took a while and heads if you want a not me answer. Okay. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails. We got tails! There. Happy? Here, take your ring back. I want to see your wares. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Supply pack. That's actually kind of expensive. Probably take the thieves' tools. What does that got? 58? Oh, God. Wow. Tarbell's Guide to Distractions. A much-read guide to chicanery, stagecraft, and earning a quick coin. Spicy Shrimp Soup. All right, fine. Take your gold. You bought some. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. She's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. We have to check out the hideout now, I guess. I don't remember ever doing a whole lot down here last time. Can't use this right now. Alright, maybe not. We'll just carry on. Please, last through. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Very well. Okay. Well, we've still got guidance going. Let's see how this goes. Give her a chance. You, get back! If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I go, I'll go where I please. Why, what's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Okay, then. Well, I didn't even need to use a check. Oh. Volo. You there! Hello! Ah, my good friend. You Wait. the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe 
that particular batch of goblins. Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblins led by a lasher and flanked by bullyags. Give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic <laughs> blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? What? <laughs> there wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Wow. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. Oh, That's right. Called. I remember the prisoner. Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and patience. Nah, we'll hold our tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Wait, about our conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. I mean, he has a point, let's be honest. Scribbled note. Here we go. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? <laughs> Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as it is. Keep their confidence if you insist. Uh, who else do we have around here? We have a lot of stuff over this way. Extracts, the rule of three. She's the one with the bird, right? Speak. I'm looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I help defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. Wow, Kronos. Well, this went better than last time. This is where I rolled failing rolls two times in a row. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. And she's wrong? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulson can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. What happened to Halson? He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Halson did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing, but he never returned. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. The ritual is Corvus' decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halson welcomes the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Okay. Let's do a quick save here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? I'm 
sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Oh, I have lots of options. Don't druids cherish harmony? Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Paladin persuasion. I am versed in the ways of justice. Make your case and I will pass judgment. Monk persuasion. You act rashly as a cornered viper would. Free the child or more tieflings will interrupt you. Detect thoughts. Read Kaga's mind. Um... Oh, this is... Either of these is very tempting. I'm gonna... Let's try the monk persuasion. Oh, I get advantage. And I still have guidance. Nice. A gathered herd of the devils would indeed be disruptive. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Interesting. Halsin Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Wow. I usually forget how much I dislike her. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. That wasn't the people you killed earlier. No, no, no. No, it wasn't any of them. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. My thoughts previously from my war warlock is very valid. Just take her out and let someone with a level head rule. Well, I mean, that's kind of the idea. But there's a particular way I like to take her out if I can do it. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? You must have thoughts on our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. Oh, there's Ethel. Not that I'm keen to trust her. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Okay. I would love to talk to Gale at this point, but it is 10 to 6, and that means it's time for us to raid out of here. We are going to play the heck out of this tomorrow again, though. Uh, let me see here. Where's my list of awesome people? And you're absolutely right, Aaron Lar. 
I always remembered that she's terrible, but I never remember exactly how terrible. Let's try to find somebody who's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Looks like I'm following someone called Hero of Time 39 who's playing it. I don't actually... I, I kind of remember the name a little bit. I don't think we've ever visited them before, though. Ms. Ash Rocks is playing Baldur's Gate 3. There's a fair number of people playing it. Not too many of them are people that we know. Oh, Smashley's playing Baldur's Gate 3. She's in this area, too. She's in the Grove. Pumpkinberry is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, hang on. Nega. Nega Oryx is playing Baldur's Gate. We're going there. Time for me to create a different character, sort of tired of the tiefling body weirdness and want to change a few decisions you made? That sounds good, Aaron Lar. All right, guys, we're going to go visit my dear friend, Nega Oryx. We've been friends with her for a very, very long time here in the channel. Uh, she is a friend we've had for many years. She doesn't get to stream as often as she'd like because she's dealing with some stuff. So let's go and see how Baldur's Gate is treating her. Also, I think, yeah, it's my 64-month sub anniversary over there. So we're going to go raid her and see what's going on with her. So let me get you guys the uh raid call here at the library of lore we use Shh, it's a library raid you've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub if you're not a sub you can use the twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes in either case sub or non-sub please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid if you have emotes of your own or from another streamer maybe from twitch themselves feel free to copy the raid message arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear it'll all be good in my book so let's get over there, and I will meet you uh, over in Nega's channel, and I'll meet you back here again tomorrow as well for more Baldur's Gate. We will continue our adventure, and I will see you again soon. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again. Bye for now.